So I don't know how much you've been following all of the chat GPT and different AI stuff that's going on. But what I've been trying to do is just come up with small stuff that's going to be useful to people. So um, what I've done is I've made a an emailing program that kind of automatically writes and sends emails through the open AI API. Um, it's written in Python and it does things in kind of a long winded way because I was trying to deal with Gmail, but I kind of, um, yeah, they're kind of awkward because they don't like you doing automated stuff unless you're going through their API. So this is what I ended up with. So it works with Selenium. Um, so it opens a browser window and the webmail that is going into is Roundcube because it's just for one of the, um, oh, I haven't actually set this one up. Let me set this up. It goes through one of the things that you just end up with on cPanel. So this is like a, a demo thing that I made. So it opens up and logs in. And then there's a number of different things that you can give it to do. So let's have a look. Um, if we go back to PyCharm and we type in help. So and these are all the different instructions that we can give it. Um, so this is something that will be useful like if you're doing sales emails or whatever, if you do cold emails, then what you can do is that is actually not meant to be... Hold on a second. Sorry about that. So that's not actually meant to be auto scrape. That should just be scrape now. But if we typed in scrape yell, what it does is it's going to go onto um, the yell website. And let's say we're searching for plumbers in Leicester. And we want a maximum of, let's just say three for now. So it's not doing it for ages. What it's actually doing is it goes in here, it searched for it. And then it's going to go through by itself and it grabs all of the websites, which it's already done. And then it goes onto the website page. So it's going to do it uh, um, up to three of them. So yeah, it's gone on there. It grabbed three of the website links. And then it's gone onto the web page. And what it's doing is it's found the email address on that web page. And it asks us if we'd like to add it to our list. So if I say yes, we want that email in our list to send to. And then it's going to personalize the email based on the information that it found. So it's encouraging us to go to like an about page or something so that it can scrape that page and have that information. I mean, this page itself, like the home page, has probably enough information to personalize an email. So we'll tell the program that, yes, we're on a good page for personalization. And then would we like to summarize what's on the page? So what this is going to do is it sends it to GPT 3.5 because it's cheaper than GPT 4. Like um, GPT 4 writes the uh, main emails, but we're going to have GPT 3.5 um, because it costs like 30 times less than GPT 4 summarize the page so that GPT 4 has less to look at. So yeah, we'll tell it to make a summarized version. So what this is doing now is it's sending all of that page content um, well, like it uses beautiful soup and, um, it sent the page content over to, um, the GPT API and then it's come up and this is its like summarized version of what's on the page that gives us just some information on what that business does and whatever. So seven Trent approved contractor based in Leicester offering main installation, repair services throughout the Midlands. They provide solutions for underground water supply problems, blah, blah, blah. But it's just when GPT-4 is writing the email, it can use this stuff to try and personalize it later. Um, now it's on the next one of these. So it's on this site and it hasn't found a, um, it hasn't found an email address on there. So it's asking us whether we'd like to skip this record or just manually find and enter the email. So we could like type in an email address here, but I'm just going to type back, which is just going to skip this record. So now it should be searching for this plumbing website. There we go. It hasn't found an email address on here either. Um, so we can either skip this or just put in our own email address. I think we'll skip it because uh, we've been on here for a while. Um, so now this is showing a list of emails. So it's found that one email address and it 
hasn't sent anything to it yet. So now what we can do is give it a different instruction, which is the send instruction, which is, so new email would be, we'd be writing the email ourselves. But if we do new email AI, that's going to go through our leads list and it's automatically going to send the emails. So let's do new email AI. And so it's grabbed that email address and it's going to use this information that we've got here as well. So now it's sent it off to um, GPT-4 through the API. And so I've told it, like just in the settings, that it's trying to sell like SEO services or whatever. So we've got the subject to boost your online visibility and attract more customers, DH2O utilities team. Are you looking to increase inquiries from your website at Two Tech, which is the um, just like demo site? We specialize in enhancing online visibility to help businesses like yours to attract more customers. By improving your website's presence, you can reach a wider audience, driving more traffic to your site and ultimately generating more leads for your water mains installation and repair services. Don't miss out on potential clients. Let's discuss how we can help your business grow. Please feel free to contact me at and this is like a user that we've got logged in at the moment. So that's written that and it's personalized it directly to them. So it's got like the name of their business and then it speaks about um, like their services or whatever. And I can tell it to, do we want it to rewrite it? So we can have it rewrite it itself or we can rewrite it ourselves later on. So let's say we do want it to rewrite it. And so let's say the email is a bit long or something let's see um yeah please shorten it and the um well i think i think that's enough let's just say please shorten it So now it's sent that back off. It's sent back off the conversation to GPT-4 and it's going to rewrite the email and let's see what it comes up with as a shorter version. So there we go. Um, want more inquiries from your website? Our, our expertise at Two Tech can boost your online visibility, attracting more customers to your water main installation and repair services. Um, reach a wider audience and generate more leads let's discuss growth opportunities contact me here and blah so would we like it to rewrite that no let's say we're keeping that one so now it's checking that we are logged in so that's what it's doing now and it's opening the compose and it's written out the email in here so we're allowed to just if we look at this it says um this is careful mode because there's a mode where you can just have it automatically send the stuff and not have all these kind of interruptions. But if you want to look at the stuff and check it yourself, then you can. So that's careful mode. Um, so you can make any changes in the browser and then you would send it manually. So let's say we shorten that and blah, blah, blah. And then we would click send. But obviously, as this is a demo, I'm not actually going to send it. So I'm just going to save it as a draft and then go back to my inbox and then I'll tell it that I sent the email. So then at this point, we've only got one email in our leads list. So at this point it would continue going through our leads list. Um, if I told it to send again, um, new email AI, it's not actually going to send anything because there's no unsent leads. If you wanted to check our leads, uh, let's do help. Uh, view leads list and so we've only got this one lead and then it's already been sent to all right so now let's have a look I'm just logging back in let's have a look at um, how it replies to emails so this is it just logging back in So let's say we wrote a new email in here. So let's open that. Um, so now let's write a new email. A uh, new email. 
let's write it to our colleague which was I think it was Steve Testington Testington at So have we sent the email manually? That was because I hit enter twice while it's saying invalid response. But there we go. So it's written up the email. So that's a project delays, blah, blah, blah. And then we can send it to Steve. And now what we're going to do is we're going to log back in as Steve and we'll auto reply. So yes, that's been sent. So now we're going to go to help because I've forgotten what the instruction is I think it's just change user yeah change user so this has listed our users that we've got and I'm going to change to user number one because that's Steve Bob is zero so now I'm changing to Steve and what this should do is log in as Steve So now we're in Steve's inbox and we've got that email there. Let's mark this as red. And so what we can do is reply to unread, I believe it is. Yep, reply to unread. To unread. And we don't like to reply to one email maximum. So what it does is it changes that inbox so we're only looking at unread messages, opens the message, reads the message, and then it should be, I think, coming up with the reply. Yeah, it's preparing a response. So it sent all the information off to um, OpenAI for GPT-4 to write the response. So that's going to write the response and then it's once it's done, it's going to paste it in here. Um, so are we happy with this? Thank you for the update on the article progress. I understand that delays occur and appreciate your efforts in making it up to the client. As for the extras, I suggest two to three additional articles. Obviously, if this is you in real life, you would want to edit this to something maybe more realistic, depending on what's actually going on. Um, alternatively, you could offer a discount on the next thing or provide a complimentary service, blah, blah, blah. Please ensure the, article, the articles are delivered tomorrow as promised and keep me updated on any further developments. So let's go into this and are we happy with it? I mean, do we want it rewritten? No, we don't want it rewritten. If you'd like to change it manually, then you can change it manually. So here we go, let's put it into here now. So we can make whichever changes we want to make in here and then we'd send it back. That dear sender should be dear Bob. Because dear send is a bit weird. Obviously, I need to change my prompts a little bit so that um, so that you can see. It's a bit weird that you didn't grab that it was Bob out of there. But you know, the prompts themselves, I need to work on a bit. But besides that, you can see that it's all basically done automatically. So I'll send that manually because it's in because um, it's in careful mode. So I sent that off, and then if we wanted to, we could log back in as Bob again and reply to Steve. But you know. What does he really have to say to him? So we'll just say that was sent manually. What else does this thing do? Let's have a look at help. Um, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest, at the moment. Um, I'm going to be working on some other stuff. But uh, if this is something that you might find useful, I'm happy to help some people out with uh, getting something similar set up. So... Subscribe if this seems useful to you. I'm working on some other stuff. I'm going to work on an auto, um, on some auto blogging software. So it'll write the 
it'll write the blog and automatically update it onto like WordPress or whatever. So if that's something you're interested in, then subscribe and uh, you'll get the notification when I've put that together. All right, thanks.